Hi Aries, it is CJ from CJ Soul Messages. Welcome to my channel. This reading will be for April 2022 and actually it's going to be more of a timeless reading for April. So whenever you are drawn to this reading, assume that there's going to be messages from your guides to you that may apply for you whenever that is that you're reading this. Um, we're going to open up with just getting a Oracle message from the Wisdoms of Oracle deck, beautiful deck. And then I'm going to do a three card spread to see what is happening. My intention with this reading is to keep it as fluid as possible as far as timelines go. Uh, you know, we are all on different paths. So what may be happening for you one week may be help happening for someone else a different week. So please try and keep in mind that this is more of a general message that could apply at any time through April, even extending into May. Um, but as I said, I just want this to be more fluid, like a timeless reading almost. So with that said, thank you again so much for being here and for all your support. We are actually going to get right into this reading. I hope you are doing really well. Um, I have been struggling a bit with some kind of a cold bug. <laughs> um, I do not think it is the big one, but it has kind of left me feeling um, a little bit exhausted. So, and you may hear in my voice, I was thinking it was allergies, but um, you may hear in my voice that my voice may fade. So please be patient with me. All right, Aries, I feel like we are ready to begin. Let's see what the message are awaiting you for whenever you get this reading. For Aries, a fire sign, Aries, a fire sign. What do you have? What messages do you have for Aries? Thank you so much. Okay, the card that has come out is Mending. All right, beautiful card. This is indicating, Aries, that there is something that you're working on bringing some healing into. Uh, it may be something that you, you actually physically may be healing from some sort of ailment. Um, you know, ironically, I was just speaking about how I've been kind of trying to fight off some kind of a cold. We do have leg up at the bottom, so we'll discuss that. But the energy of this card is very much saying that Aries, whenever you're getting this message, you are probably working on something, whether it is physical, it could even be emotional. This could be mending fences with others. This could be trying to heal some kind of wound that has been um, maybe lingering with you for a very long time. It's going to apply differently for everyone. So I trust that you'll take the information if it seems like it resonates with you and you will know whether it is your message or not. Um, but again, for some of you Aries out there, you are on the mend. Um, I'm for some reason picking up on some kind of surgery, feeling like it is about your knees because my eyes are being drawn to one of the little girls sitting here and she her knees are exposed. So some of you may have just gone through some kind of knee surgery, maybe even an ankle surgery, uh, but you are mending, you are working on healing, you are working on uh, getting the mobility back. And as far as any kind of emotional injury that has happened, some kind of even argument, I'm feeling like there could be even be a family dispute that is going on. There, You're working on trying to heal it. Uh, there is such an angel feeling in this card. There are wings and the, the, the clouds are so wispy. I'm trying to see how I can hold it so that you may be able to see it better. I'm not sure if that is helping, but it is very wispy and there is that feeling of starting to recuperate here over something and st and and really putting a lot of effort into bringing some peace back. Now on the bottom of the deck we do have a leg up and I feel like you are either helping someone else, perhaps this is referring to someone that you're involved with, Aries, that is on the mend or is trying to mend something and you are helping them by giving them a leg up or it could be the other way. You may be needing other people to be helping you at this point. Either way, it is about working together and assisting one another to be able to bring some kind of closure to a situation. Beautiful. All right, let's move on into the tarot and see what the tarot has to say. Very beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna open up with getting three cards from my Lightseer's deck. All right, for Aries, a fire sign. 
fluid time as far as April 2022 for whenever they are drawn to this reading. This one right off. We've got the Eight of Swords. So something has been keeping you feeling very stuck lately. <clears throat> Again, physically or emotionally is what I'm really picking up here, Aries. Two more cards. But not to worry because it does say that you are on the healing journey now. Things are going to be a lot more better and a lot more smoother moving forth from whenever you hear this reading. And let me just. Okay. Eight of Swords is all about that energy of feeling very stuck usually in our own mind got the queen of swords uh, eight of swords can sometimes indicate that you are actually stuck but usually wow it is all about our mental and eight of wands on the bottom beautiful um let's get into the reading okay wow massive process here progress is what i meant to say so eight of swords swords is our logic it is all the things that go on in our mind. The Eight of Swords is an en energy of being very, feeling like you are extremely stuck. Like you cannot get yourself free here. If this is involving some kind of healing process that you're going through physically, um, this is saying that you may be getting very frustrated because it's not, it's not, you're not healing as fast. You may not be regaining your strength as quickly as you had hoped for. And it can become very frustrating because you know, you want to be up and about. Aries, you are a very um, adventurous and um, almost risk-taking kind of energy. You don't like to sit around. You like to go after exactly what it is that you want. And you don't like to really sit back and, you know, take time out in that way. You're very, very um, energetic is the right word. Uh, so this Eight of Swords feels like there's something going on here that is really keeping you stuck. And you are really getting fed up about it, but you're not sure how to speed the process up even. Um, as far as this being a physical situation that you may be healing on, you know, I have to remind you that look, when our bodies get worn out or if we've had to have some kind of surgery or we're fighting off some kind of uh, ailment, um, cold, flu, something like that, as much as we want to heal up as quickly as possible, you know, our body needs time to, to, to rest and recuperate and actually get its strength back. So. Try to remain as patient as you can with yourself. You know, have those sleeps when you need to. When you have those bursts of energy, push yourself a little bit. You know, exercise a little bit more. Um, you know, make sure you're drinking a lot of water, keeping yourself hydrated, of course. Um, but really just trying to ease off. I get this energy as it can be so extremely just it just you just want to like go absolutely crazy because it's just so frustrating. But it's going to pass very fast. You have mending here. So they are very much indicating that you are going to be healing quicker than, you know, quicker than you are on the healing process here. Maybe not on your speed, but it is happening. And trust that when you have healed, it is going to be really positive for you. If this is an emotional situation that you're healing from, something to do with a relationship, uh, same deal, right? You may be feeling like you're hitting roadblocks as you are trying to release yourself out of an emotional situation. The thing is though, is you've got to take some time out as well so that you can actually see the truth of the matter. When we move to the center of the position of the card, we have the Queen of Swords. So you are going from Eight of Swords to actually getting complete control over your thoughts. You're taking your power back here. The Queen of Swords is very clear in her decisions. She's very clear on the direction she wants to go on. Um, and she's a queen. So you are going to be in that position. So maybe there's a need for you to actually change the way you're viewing things if you can. You know, um, try to... <laughs> You know, not to sound ridiculous or redundant, but you know, like what you think about, you bring about, right? That's my little girl barking in the background. Please ignore her. Um, but it is kind of true. So if whatever this is, if you're feeling really, you've gone through an operation or something like that, and, and you're just like, I just want to get out there and I want to get going, then you got to change the way you're thinking. If you tell your body that you're healing and that you need to be patient with yourself and that you're strong and it's a process of regaining your strength, your mind will start to follow suit, which will then 
tell your body to follow suit. And before you know it, you will be back on top here. If you need help, if you need assistance in any way, especially if you are having, like I just feel like some of you really have had ankles or knee problems, um, there's you there's some you need to ask someone to help you it might even be helping you just go get groceries or helping you you know clean your house up or or something like that that helps keep the cleansing process happening um short story i broke my ankle uh about three years ago and i broke i broke it in all places actually it was one of the most severest breaks that my doctor had ever seen um and i had to go undergo surgery and you know i uh, I tell you, it was a long three months before I was even out of a wheelchair. And there was times where I just was about to go out of my mind being in that situation because it was like, I, I felt like I was healing at a um, turtle's pace. It felt like I was even going back. But you know, now I look at it and I think, okay, um, as long as it took, it didn't take forever. And when I was able to get control of my mind and how I was thinking and ask for help, you know, things really kind of, I started to heal a lot more and I started to heal a lot faster. So, you know, I'm just sharing that with you as a personal experience of if you are going through something like that, um, I totally understand how difficult it is, but mind over matter here, right? Our mind is very strong and our mind has willpower that can change everything around. You know, even as far as having someone come in and clean your home, even if you're unable to do it yourself, can really switch up the energy and clear it out so that you can feel more positive and lighter and feel more focused on healing yourself. Okay, so, and that also goes if there's something going on um, with a emotional issue here, same deal. Is there anyone that you can ask to help maybe even uh, navigate through the muddy waters? Uh, is there anyone that you can bring in to mediate the situation you know maybe look outside the box if possible I need a sip of water please excuse me for a sec oh getting very dry throat but nevertheless Aries um, you have the world showing up so this is going you are going to be successful here you are going to um, things are going to heal fast emotional or physical it's coming to an end here yes if it's a physical thing you may still have to keep working on it you still may have to get rehab you know you have to keep doing those exercises all that stuff but the struggle is coming to an end emotionally wise it is coming to an end as well the world is all about a co completion a cycle ending it is also about success you know um, actually making it to the top getting to the end of it and being successful in that so I do feel that that is what is happening for you um, when we look at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of wands so another beautiful card of things moving fast fast recovery here uh, issues going on emotional breakdowns maybe have, that have been happening the, the mending is happening fast and it will be healed quickly eight of wands is very fast movement and even um, to the point where it comes in so quickly you can even be shocked now for some of you this could even be a message coming in if this is an emotional uh, issue that is a rosin and you know that there's some mending that needs to happen you may get word from the other person that they're apologizing to you um, and that may open the dialogue dialogue even more quickly so that the truth words can be spoken forgiveness can even be um, offered and you know things can start to turn around for you. I mean, the leg up here, it's two polar bears, it's, it's a beautiful card, um, is really indicating that, you know, give someone else a break here. You know, give someone else a little bit of helping hand or ask for a little helping hand or a break for you, however it may apply. Uh, but it's it, this is a positive read because underneath the Eight of Wands, look, we've got the Page of Wands. Beautiful, this new start now. This new start of being able to um, move in a new direction that feels a lot more lighter, that feels a lot more connected to who you are. It's the wands, Aries, so that is your element. It's the fire. So it's the passions, the actions, the creations, the innovations. It's all of those things. And as far as this being a physical thing that could be keeping you a little bit um, under the weather and making you feel a little stuck, this is you getting your strength back and getting excited to get back on your feet, you know, um, especially if you've had some kind of surgery. Look, she's got one foot kicked in the air. So this is going to be you soon. Don't lose faith and don't lose hope. As frustrating and um, as, as tedious as it can be, 
it's going to be all right. You are going to get to the other side. And the last card that we have is the chariot. Wow, powerful. This is Cancer's card. card. And so this is the water um, signs. This is about you getting back in your driver's seat again and being victorious in whatever this is referring to as we are all on different journeys. So it's gonna apply to everyone a whole bunch of different ways. But the general energy it remains the same. This is you actually really being back in control of your life. Uh, if this is about you having some kind of operation or fighting off some kind of you know cold, flu, something that has kept you feeling physically drained and worn, you're going to be feeling a hell of a lot better very, very soon. Look at the colors even. Purples, pinks, yellows, kind of oranges, very healing, strong colors coming through. So this is definitely saying, Aries, with whatever you've been going through here, there is big changes happening and things are getting mended. Peace is coming in and you are also going to be back on the top of your game very soon. Very, very soon. Do not lose faith. Do not lose hope. Everything has happened um, the way it's meant to. Now, I know that sounds crazy, especially if you have had some kind of surgery on your legs, ankles, foot, etc. But sometimes it does happen for a reason. I know when I broke my ankle, um, it did shift my it did shift my perception after that long time of not being able to get up and walk and do all the things that I normally physically do. As crazy and as frustrating and as many times as I broke down through those experiences, um, you know, I did have a greater appreciation even still to this day, three years later. I I thank my legs and my, my ankles like all the time because I used to take it for granted. <clears throat> so sometimes that's the way destiny and the divine works is that things happen to us for a reason so that we can have higher appreciation and show a lot more gratitude. I'm not saying that you don't show gratitude, but it's just a reminder to just give thanks of the, um, you know, the gifts that we do have. And there's something really positive coming out of this. If this is a relationship that is broken down. The same deal goes. Maybe you're both going to learn how to understand each other a little bit better. Maybe there's going to be a lot better, clear communication and even more passion and love towards each other. And at the very basic, at the very bottom line, at least there will be some kind of common courtesy and human respect for each other. So I'm going to close this reading off for you, Aries, um, and I'm just going to pull one card from Treasures from Takashi. Whatever's been holding you back, whatever has been making you feel really stuck, trust and believe that it's going to be changing very fast and you're going to be free again. And it's, that is all going to get closed out and you are going to be back at the top of your game very soon. All right, let's get a card from the Treasures from Takashi for our beautiful Aries regarding this reading. Just trying to see if there's anything else that wants to come through here. It just feels like the message that they're giving me is just hold on and stay focused, get clear, get clear even with your communications. Because if this is about some breakdown that has happened with someone that, whether it be a lover, whether it be a family, whether it be a friend, Whatever it is, if there's been some kind of a breakdown that has left you feeling not good um, and there's a need for amending to happen, remember to speak your truth, your honest truth. You know, it doesn't have to be with sharp words, but you can communicate very clearly and decisively of how you felt and what it is that you expect in the future. Um, because, you know, there's no use mincing words when there's an issue that needs to be cleared up. A lot of times that's all it takes is for a few people to speak the truth and find that bottom line where you can even agree to disagree, but to bring the peace in so that mending can happen for all parties here. Okay, let's get one card spirit for our Aries for this reading. April 2022, there we go, um, obviously being timeless and fluid. Responsibility has come out and consideration is on the bottom of the deck. So let me read these to you and then I will close out your reading. So it says responsibility. <clears throat> Be accountable to yourself. The onus is on you for who you are and what you have created. Others are responsible for themselves so do not try to take away their journey by assuming responsibility for them. 
You need never be a victim when you know that you have choices in every moment and you can take responsibility for them. That's beautiful. So if this is indicating that you are in some kind of a conflict with another person, remember, take responsibility for you, but do not take responsibility for their actions. That is on them. As the card says, that is the onus that is put on them. They're responsible for that. And perhaps for some of you guys, you're going to speak your truth and maybe be attempting to mend it and the other person may not be responsive but even in that way as long as you stay true to yourself and you speak your truth the, the, the this chapter closes out this cycle actually closes out and you have a new beginning starting and on the bottom of the deck it says consideration <coughs> excuse me pay attention let nothing move past without your examination be reflective do not make any hasty decisions Many special moments are unfolding for your attention. If you carefully look at what has brought you to this now moment, you will see how much of yourself deserves your loving consideration. Wow, that's really nice. So Aries, you know, be easy on yourself through this. Um, if this is your reading, you're going to still be here and you're listening to this. Obviously, if, it, if you, you would have checked out if this wasn't your reading. So <clears throat> remember to be kind to yourself gentle with yourself especially if you are going through something uh, excuse me <coughs> especially if you are going through something that is really physically um you have been injured in some way you know or fighting off some kind of a bug of some sort be patient with yourself you know it's going to take some time for you to get back in your game and on top of your game but it is coming these three cards here are all about progress moving forward and really a lot of strength happening and Aries you are a very strong strong sign so that is what I have for you for this reading of April uh, I hope it helps in some way and um, you know I wish you a lot of love and light and if you are in this process much healing to you and may it come quickly and easily for you uh, and you know, a lot of love sent to you. So thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you and we will see you next time. And if this re reading didn't resonate with you, I have a previous set of April readings. Maybe check that out. Um, I'm trying to do four readings for Aries each month. Um, general, basically, unless some message comes out. So if this one didn't resonate, check my other ones or come back in a week or so. There might be something here that is for you. All right, Aries, thank you so much. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and we will see you next time. Take care.